everyone, it's Frankie Lou and Angus and all the bees. And what are we doing today, Angus? Well, we're showing you our preventative measures from the wasps trying to kill the bees. Last year we actually did lose our colonies to wasps and it was very, very devastating for us. So while we understand that wasps can be good for gardens, right Angus? They aren't, yes, they do kill like pests like caterpillars, moths. Yep, and they actually pollinate as well. But, um, and so if you don't have a beehive, a bee colony like this, you probably want to leave your wasps alone. To maintain the animals that we have decided to bring on our property. And so one of the things we have to do is we have to stop them from being killed by wasps. It's the same yes. way we try to prevent our chickens from being killed by coyotes. Okay? Or bobcats. Or bobcats, right. So um, we've taken a few steps this year to help ensure the health of our hives and they're working really great. So, so we thought this year in order to help those of you who are also beekeepers and maybe are facing the same struggles, we thought we'd share some of our learnings this year of yeah. different ways that we prote and protect the hives. And why do wasps go after bees, I guess? Well, multiple reasons. Like this hive right here is a buffet. <laughs> For a wasp, it is. It's a buffet for, for humans or for wasps too, but what, what do you mean by that? Um, so it has um, bees, bald-faced hornets, and um, will uh, rip the heads and um, abdomens off of bees and take the thoraxes um, to feed the larvae. Yikes. Okay, and what else do they like to do? Well, and then there's also food that doesn't fight back, like... Um, they have larvae, okay. um, eggs, those aren't commonly eaten though. And then there's also this pollen and honey. So it's all this stuff, it's it's like an easy, it's easier for a, 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 a colony of wasps to attack a beehive and just steal everything from that, including the animals themselves, forage for themselves. Yeah. And, and they don't just go after the honey, as Angus said, they actually are protein eaters, so they're going after everything. And what happens with the queen if they get inside there, I guess? Well, um, let's say wasp is going into the hive to get some larva. It sees the queen. The queen is in its way. Eat, kill queen. Yeah, and sometimes the queen will actually be killed by it, and that's what happens. Once the queen is killed, if it's too late in the season, and the colony can't replace it her. happens late in the season, like right now, which is when it happened with us last year, it's the end of the colony, okay? So we're going to show you a couple of things that we do. First of all, I'm going to tell you one of the things that I do every day. We have a lot of pocket gophers around here and uh, they go after my crops. But the other thing they do is they leave holes in the ground. That seems like a great place to build a wasp nest, wouldn't it be? <laughs> yeah. So a lot of the invasive species of wasps, what are they called, I guess? Um, yellow jacket wasps. Uh, yeah. They're, they're, they're more common than the... Um, aerial dwellers. Yeah, so these ground dwellers like to take over those pocket gopher holes and create nests. So I walk, yeah, I walk around the property and, and chuck the empty holes. And I and I fill the empty holes up uh, whenever I find one, and that helps to stop a small amount. But I have found found six colonies that way. Okay, we have five acres here, and I have found six colonies. So that tells you how bad wasp pollen. Uh, populations can grow when they know there's a nice food source nearby like a beehive like okay. a buffet <laughs> yeah a buffet and then so that's one of the things I do I walk around and I fill in pocket, pocket gopher holes and if I do find a wasp nest I've never been a fan of pesticides I know you guys know that about me but when it comes to wasp nests as it is a targeted attack I do now take out wasp nests. Yes. What's another thing we've done this year, I guess? Well, we set out these wasp traps. And They're baited with um, hormones yeah. that the wasps will go after. And, and this is two weeks worth, okay, from one hive. So, and all of these wasps came to our hive to rob it. It's sitting there next to it, okay? So, uh, while I don't like to kill things indiscriminately, all of these would have killed at least a couple of my bees each. That's the way I, I think of it to myself. And we haven't caught a single bee in here. Okay, we have to take it down and refill it. They have to be re, re, um, filled every re, two weeks. Refilled every two weeks and this is the time 
and in there's thousands in there right now so those are a thousand wasps that would have been killing my bees okay and then this year we also got our, these yeah our wonderful one of our mentors has built built some incredible things and we're going to show you okay my wounded warrior angus got stung while by we were a wasp. by a wasp while we were doing the video <laughs> i guess they didn't like getting uh maligned eh angus yeah i'm gonna complete the rest of this video on my own while angus convalesces here on the uh ground <laughs> no, he's got uh, if you're wondering what that is on his face that's actually borage leaves that have been chewed up in his mummy's mouth and put on his face i know that sounds disgusting but boy is it ever good at uh, reducing both the pain and the inflammation of a bee bite or a wasp bite right angus sting sting right sorry yeah. Okay, you can see here this wasp, it's early morning, so it's cool, and this wasp is attempting to get into the hive. Wasps are particularly troublesome in the cooler weather, like in fall, as fall is now approaching here, because they're more active than the bees are in cooler weather. Particularly in the early mornings in the, the uh, in the evenings. So this wasp is going to be attempting to get into um, the hive. Here's an example here of a wasp trying to get into the hive, but he's got to get past all of these guys. And it looks like they're doing a good job. See, they're having an opportunity to attack him. Whereas with a single entrance, he can slip by quickly. He's decided to leave. So we just thought we'd uh, wrap up over here away from the hive so we don't have another incident while we're talking to you. Yeah. And I hope that was helpful. Um, as you know, we're, we're, we love most animals, but unfortunately if they're attacking our, our animals, animals, we need to do something to protect them because they also go after our other native pollinators, okay? Yes, like mason bees. Like the mason bees. They will go and they'll take the mason bee colonies as well. They take butterfly, larva, they take they anything. Yeah, and if the population is over, is too high, it has to be brought down a bit. So anyways, I hope that was helpful. If you do have bees, uh, if you are a beekeeper and have had problems with wasps, um, I hope that some of that will be helpful to you. In particular, those, those bee guards, well, those wasp guards, those are amazing. We found them very effective. Yep. And um, yeah. stay tuned to see what we're up to. Subscribe if you're interested in what's going on here at the homestead. And as always, we hope you take the chance to grow together today. Have a good one.